He said today. <gasps>、Welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu Gi Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight, I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. The gallery is loud. It is. <laughs> Logan being here is the worst thing ever. We also have Blake from Blake Goes Face. Not Logan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My salary. That, that should be applauded.、Um, <laughs> how, was our, <laughs> how was our week in Yu Gi Oh!、Uh, Blake? I played so much Master Door. <laughs> So much, yeah. I suppose, yeah. So flood, much flood Master is out. Do you, the floodgates have opened. How, well, how is it? Is it the meta-breaking deck that you thought top it would flat. be? Top flat, top flat, low diamond. Okay, I did like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You、um, have periods like that、uh, because、uh, I got to there and then decided I would just start trying stuff with deck lists. Turns out, don't do that. It's、no. not fun.、Um, I bounced between your and my list.、Um, wow, that's、uh, cancer. My list. Yes. Uh, there were multiple occasions where Lewis was like spectating,、uh, or like we were on Discord, and he went, What is this cringe? And then I did it, and he goes, How did you, how were you more cringe than I thought you were? And it was like, It's so <laughs> bad. And I was like, It really is. Yeah, Lewis hasn't been paying attention much no, to、um, the game of late, so、uh, Ben's cracked plunder is news to him. t h e r e was a. Fuck. It's so. There's a. Like, he was trying to give me some shit, and we, I versed like. Like Evil Twin, I don't know, whatever the stupid deck is called.、Um, and I、deck. set D Barrier,、um, and he was like, oh, that's not going to do anything, it's a leak deck. And I was like, oh, true. And then、uh, he could have, he like half outed my board, but couldn't fully out my board, and then he slaps down Fusion Destiny. I'm like, about that card? No. <laughs> and Lewis is just like, this is so cringe. And I'm like, listen, bro, it wins games. It just flat wins games.、Uh, not much thinking involved. It's nice. Super brain dead. Yeah, there's a reason that in my week in Yu Gi Oh! I got to Diamond One.、Woo! I hit Top of Diamond and playing Crack Blunder. It was Crack. How would you find the deck breakdown like the top half of Diamond? I played a lot of Flun Mirrors, and that deck list automatically、yes. wins it. Because, yes, you're playing D Barriers, but at the same time, in the other build, you're playing fucking、uh, Shifters. Yeah. Some、okay. of them are also playing Maxi. So you're playing three dead cards versus their six dead cards. And Harpies is the living embodiment of the opposite of dead cards. You、yep. know, it just wins. Yep. The amount of times that your opponent starts playing on their turn, and you're like, no. <laughs> oh, by the way, you started normal summoning, though, so I'm going to play it. It was our turn. Your part of that turn is over. <laughs> <laughs> you're, yes. you're done. All right.、Um, there have been multiple games where I have done nothing but normal summon a, a barrier statue and set a Harpies and go. Please.、Um, yeah, there's too many decks right now that can't play if you turn off all their monster effects. There are genuinely times in that deck where <laughs> I've opened map, a bird, a Barry statue,、uh, yeah, Barry statue harpies, and I've legitimately gone activating map, normal summon Barry statue set harpies is the correct choice. Yeah. Because they have to normal summon, it activates your map, all of a sudden you now have the active harpies feather storm ending their turn. Starting your second turn, <laughs> and they cannot hand trap you on your entire combo. Oh, of course. So you're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're like, actually,、combo. you know what? You have to normal summon. So, yeah, yeah, honestly, depending on the read, like sometimes committing less to the board, knowing the game state is absolutely the yeah, correct choice. That the turns of, into only i m p o n Yeah. Well, the only comparison that I Not have. Not for is, normal summon. Anyway. <laughs> the only comparison I have is like if you're versing a deck and they say you can go first, you're just like, oh. This、hmm. is some cancer bullshit. If I don't have a strong hand, I'm not committing to the board at all. And then you just like. Whereas、uh, when I get told I'm going first, I go, You've made a mistake. I don't care what you have. There's no yeah, deck in the game. Yeah, but when you play that shit, yeah, there's that's no deck. fine. But、ben, when you play a normal deck. I got. It's on. I have the recording. I think I put it in my video. I got stormed, dark hold, impermed to like just stop everything, and I still won. I went, You, you, you outed everything. And you still lost the game. It, 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 as soon as you get set up, it, it's it. It's up. It's absolutely hilarious when your opponent like, either storms you or dusters you, and you're like, chain harpies, feather storm. Everything goes. They out your monsters, and you're like, okay. They start trying to play, and all their stuff keeps coming up as negated, and you can clearly see them just banging at the screen, being like, why is my stuff not working? There, there was multiple、ah! times where、uh, I, like, I do draw face, trap trick, do the thing. Yeah. 
And Lewis will like half watch and then we'll get to main phase and Lewis is like, yeah, all he has to do is this and this and he has to board. Why was that negated? And I was like, let me tell you, bro. <laughs> let me tell you it how was, the hockey's better. It was never going to get to go. The funny thing is, there's like as much as the deck is fucking brain dead, like it does need just maybe two brain cells to work. Yes. And the amount of Flunder players that I've versed uh, that have, have no brain cells. Yeah. Because uh, I've they haven't been playing Crack Flunder, which is half their problem. No one plays but, Crack Flunder. But also, um, I've lightning stormed, to calling spell and trap because I have the normal summon that can beat over the thing, and as long as like they don't trigger the other shit, it's fine. Yeah. They flip the trap. Oh, oh, hang on, no, why maybe would you do that? No, no, no of course it's, it's correct. You call monsters and they no, flip no. the trap. Yeah, no, 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 it must be monsters, yeah. yeah. I yeah. call monsters and they flip the trap. Because they normal summon and then they're like, timing. Haha. Yes. Because yeah. the only way to, to deal with that then is they have to flip your board face down. If they don't do it, they lose. I have lost once to that exact situation because I literally wasn't looking and I've turned back to seeing a lightning storm activated. I was like, oh. And you assumed it was spell and trap? Yeah. Then Because I, I had four back row. And then, like, I had full back row M pen barrier statue, and I was like, well, he's had to have called the monster. Yeah. Like, he had to have called back row because I had five back row, and I was like, I'll just. Uh, trap? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoops. My bad. I'll just pick up on your hoodie, too. I quite like it. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I may, I may need job. to. Um, Do you want to start a hype uh, brand uh, <laughs> podcast? Yeah, this is that is, we're doing? Yeah. Yes, we're leaving Bird yeah. Corner. No, and... we'd never leave Bird Corner. Bird no, no, Corner lives on no, our no. hearts. But you didn't know what's on Bird Corner? What? The hype store. Oh, <laughs> it's like just down the road. It's just down the road. Just yeah, down the road yeah, from yeah. Bird Corner. Yeah. Um, M-Pen got drip. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, why we share a brain cell. Nah, 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 I like that we all use oh. the same hand, though. Yeah, it was did. all this. Yeah. Because <laughs> we know it's the correct hand. Correct. Oh. Um, so, I suppose since we're in this realm anyway, we'll talk about Bird Master Corner. Duel before we go any further. Mm. Oh, I'll quickly talk about my week. Um, didn't play tonight because uh, I had a dinner on. Right. Played on Sunday. Um... The funniest thing about Sunday is that um, I decided I wanted to play um, the new Albaz Fusion in my side deck. In case I did get King Calamity, then I could like set the Albaz Contact Fusion and actually have some semblance of a board. Um, the only copy that I could find was the Starlight. So I just bought the Starlight. <laughs> oh, the one that was in the, the yeah. small thing? How much was it? Um, got it for 110 yeah, yeah, you could pay that. No problems yeah. at all. Yeah, I would have paid literally, that if I literally. Knew it was I was like, oh yeah, thirty dollars secret. Anyone? No. Okay. <laughs> How much is that? <laughs> I guess we're giving it. Give. Uh, didn't come up though. But also, like, I now have at current the highest rarity Albaz card. Yeah, fair. Until Ulti Albaz comes, and even then, less and less sure I want it. But anyway, uh, this might be rehashing stuff. Uh, we have. Uh, we are. In new OT- current OTS is the... Um, Hasn't arrived right. yet. Okay. Yeah. And then we know the next one is uh, Reaper. Uh, yeah. uh, no, the wrong hand trap was printed. Correct. It's okay. a hand trap. It's fine. It is a hand trap, and I don't mind them. I don't mind that. Um, but yes. Fair enough. I uh, never finished my weekend ego. I went, oh, yeah, we did. I went X2 tonight. Playing I played, not Crack Thunder. No, I played Crack Thunder Ooh. With, Ooh. with no sideboard. <laughs> oh yeah, I, 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 I had an eight card sideboard of three evenly, uh, three shifter, two twin twisters, and there were more situations. The uh, well, you see, also part of my week in Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, I proxied Splite to start building Splite, and I just didn't want to take the cards out. So like, this is where my Dark Rulers and my Ash Blossoms and shit were. Ah. So yeah, I just completely ignored that part. Well, it's alright. If Crack Flunder can win best of ones, I'm sure it can win best of threes. It can. Except you just need a side deck. <laughs> so nah, you have when to your have opponent the side. ends on like four negates, no, <laughs> because you don't have the shifter. Yeah. Oh, no, no, sorry. You don't. It's the dark ruler. You don't yeah, have the dark ruler. Yeah. 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 Not helpful. Every time I, all my losses will be sitting there being like, mm, but just. You should have taken a cue from the Flunder player I played last week and just main card use as well. <laughs> Fucking hell. If you're not playing, you might as well out some of the board. <laughs> play Lava Golem. Play Sphere Mode. Play the Ghost Sphere Mode. Um, Summon Ghost Egg. Yes. Yeah, um, so, yeah, now that Weekend Yu Go is done, back to Master Duel. Um, as of uh, today, the uh, Extra Zero event has begun. What? No Extra Deck event. I. Sw- I'm going to look so stupid. I thought that event came out like three days ago because I played in it. it. Uh, you could you could build your deck for it, but you were just playing regular ranked with a handicap. That's handy so weird. <laughs> no, no, because yeah. the thing's there. 
Yeah, it's there. You can click it. You can deck build for it. You can't. Play. Why would they? Anyway, fair yeah, they enough. Do like they that. do that so all the time. So I didn't know play it. The... That was. I thought you were about to say it ended, and I was like, "Fuck, I didn't play it." No, no, no it's enough. just started today. Sure. So they announce it early so that you know what the ban list and stuff is like, and you can work out a deck. Um, the three <laughs> decks they give you if you want to play one is Flunder, uh, but it's bad. Oh. Um, one is uh, Pure Adventurer, which is awful they and really want us to play pure adventure i'm really like convinced bad. of it um and the third is uh machina or machina if you're stupid um machina if you're correct incorrect Ooh, beef, beef. just go I've, to ban logic actually... and switch between the i two. prefer <laughs> machina 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 yeah, machina. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> it sounds like a colombian spirit machina, machina. <laughs> 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 we're gonna get cancelled that's okay <laughs> So like if, a, if this is a... film. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, those decks not ideal. I think the biggest problem with the uh, Flunderies one is I don't think it's playing Grazia or Riser, however you pronounce. All right, it. so no, I take back. Jake just says everything wrong. Um, I've not actually read what its name is, so uh, I don't know whether Zed is playing uh, uh, it is okay. Windy Boy. Yeah, well, it's not playing Windy Lad, um, so it Schmin. really has very little response off turn. Uh, Back in Bird Corner, ah, even yes. though we're still technically in Bird Corner, uh, twice the night I rise it a wind barrier. Uh, fucking, I rise it have harpies for the storm back to the top of my deck, and it was like, yeah, no, we'll be able to draw it. I, you know what? I'll go All again. Right. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I don't need it this turn. I will. I will simply use it later. No, I had already <laughs> used it. So I used it. Oh, yeah, from the like, graveyard. Yeah. Oh my fucking and then god. I was like, and then you like, put it on top. Oh. Of the deck because, because the thing is, you do that on their turn. So then you draw for turn and then you just reset it and no, move on with your life. No, so I did it on their turn. And then yeah, yeah. Back on my turn. Yeah. That so is I rise it to break fucking the board. AIDS. Because yeah. you used to be able to. Oh, not used to, but you used to um, shift up multiple times because you just put it back on yeah, top yeah, yeah. and then your graveyard's empty, so you do it again. Yeah. But That's now you just put the feather storm on top and then you reset it and go, try again. Draw face. So good. Um, so I was playing um, a couple of duels of that before I went out for dinner tonight. Uh, the the last match I played before I left was against Flunder, and I think it was like the loner Flunder because I didn't get Razier at see all. That just, just um, say it again. You said it Razier again. I will continue to say it more so to piss you off at this point. Um, the funny thing about it, I'm playing Metaphys because it was like the one deck I had crafted, and it doesn't need the extra deck. But the funny thing is. Um, the Metaphys field spell says when you activate a Metaphys monster effect, you can't respond. Uh, so I normal summon Ragnarok and use its effect, and they oh, can't yeah, change they the field can't, spell. Yeah, 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 that's pretty cute. <laughs> so that I found that out pretty quickly, that's and a I was like, direction. "That is hilarious." And then I just started banishing um, the Empens, so they'd have to use resources to bring it back to then summon. Yeah. Um, and then my continuous spells kept lowering its attack, so that its half attack effect would have no effect. Also, I was having a lot of fun. Still in this section of Bird Corner. Although, we no, we'll we get, still we'll, have not we'll, technically left. We're well, gonna let's come stay back. in Bird Corner no, no, no. rather than coming back to it later. No, I have a reason to come back to it later. Oh, so for we'll, fuck's we'll get sake. to it. It's give me, to it give me hope we're that we're going to leave Bird Corner and then we come back to I'm Bird really Corner. trying to find the, um, the loan deck. The... It's not good. Yeah, I know. Just open it's the app. Do you I don't have, have the app on my phone because I can't chain correctly, Ben. Look, I play, I got to play, to diamond one with that handicap turned on. Yeah, that's honestly fair. Machina, I see it now. Machina. What's the news? <laughs> What's the next in news, Jake? Uh, in other news, we have the uh, North America WCQ event happened over the weekend. Uh, two day event, a uh, little over eighteen hundred players. Um, so we have the top thirty two breakdown. A, that's a lot of players. Do you know how it many is rounds I played? Uh, I think it was eight the first day. It was 11 total. Yeah, eight the first day, three the second, well, and then top out. Up. What was the bubble like? I don't know what the bubble was Rough. like, but you played... <laughs> yeah. That, that gets you exactly one XO. But, like, doesn't that get you, like, 55,000 X2s? Yeah, Someone qualified <laughs> from X12. Yeah. Wow. So the deck breakdown of top 32 is as follows. Uh, nine Punk, with uh, six being Adventurer, three being Therion. Uh, five Branded Despia, one being Eldritch, two being Predator Player. Uh, three Dragon Link Adventurer, uh, two Tenny Sword Soul, two Tri Brigade, one Lyralusk, one Punk, um, which is a variant yeah. I haven't seen before. That was the weird thing that I found out of this deck, the, the top 32s. I was like... It makes sense, because... 
Well, I'm assuming that the idea is you just do regular punk bullshit, and at the point where you chaos ruler, you put some shit in the bin. And then the shit in the bin triggers, gets your searches, blah, 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 blah. I guess. Yeah. That's what I'm assuming. But, yeah. Uh, two Flundery, uh, two Drytron, two Planet Patrol, one Adventurer package. Uh, Yo, one Phantom fun. Knight Adventurer, uh, one Marincess, one ABC Adventurer, one yeah, Synchro let's go, Adventurer, baby. and one Sky Striker. Abacus. Uh, the finals was between Sky Striker and Tribagate. Uh, sorry, Sword Soul. I don't know why I said Tribagate. Uh, with the winner being Sword Soul. Um, Sword of Soul. The thing that I find most interesting between both those decks is they are both maining Mystic Mind. He also was maining Rivalry. Yes, he Yeet. was. Yes, yes, he was. Yeah, and um, he won good time by had... having rivalry and anti spell fragrance. <laughs> yeah, um, three anti spell in the in the side. Floodgates won. Just the to say, um, just as a um, a heads up for anybody wanting to play uh, the event, I found the deck list. Um, don't. I know Jake said it's bad. It's not bad, bro. It's literally the worst thing I've ever seen. In no, my no, life. I said the loner deck was. Bad, yeah, no, the loner the loner deck is like, I, I know natural disasters look better than this deck. <laughs> like this is. This is egregiously bad. It look at just this part. There's like one pot of desires. What? I, what do you mean? Also, the top card in that deck list, I've never heard of in my life. What is the first card in that deck list? What is that card? Slower swallow. What? What is that? Oh, it. Oh, I swear, it uh, special summons itself, which turns the. Also, oh wait, no, I take it back. It plays three toucan. Best deck list. Let <laughs> duke. <laughs> Let duke. Um, so, on the subject of WCQ, and relating to Bird Corner, uh, in, the in top of four, I was deck? really disappointed with the Flum player. Oh, yeah? He made a few, like, he, I wouldn't say they were misplays, but, like, he played himself into a situation where cards in his hand had to be certain cards, and then just didn't have them. Like, Weird. he map banishes, uh, Impen, which would normally signal okay. you have two can in hand. Yeah, that's alright. He just didn't have it. But, if... Did he Rubina for it? No. He Rubina for Eagle. So why would you banish M-Pen if you're searching I, the I, thing that searches M-Pen? I don't That's... know. Because I don't mind banishing not Eaglin, searching for Eaglin, and then so, normaling it to end chain blocking. That's fine to me. But, like, why put the M-Pen there? So he goes... Uh, yeah, Rubina, banish Eaglin, summon Rubina... Uh, so, Rubina... So, banish M-Pen. Rubina, add Eaglin. Normal Eaglin. Uh, tribute over two for uh, Big Chicken. Yep. Uh, and then passes with Big Chicken and Map. And then loses to a Gamma. <laughs> His opponent top decks the Gamma and he goes Bin Chicken negate. Uh, I think like fucking whatever. Yeah. The first thing he activates and just goes just like oh, Gamma. Game is over. I'm confused. I, I, like, I was that's really super lost. strange. Yeah, on top of this, he, like... So, he activates Prosperity. Doesn't let his opponent cut his deck. Just activates Prosperity. Reveals six. Six cards that I'm, like... He has to have all these cards in his hand already. Plus Barrier Statue. And then he's, like, I'll get the Barrier Statue. And I was, like, okay, cool. So, he goes, like, Toucan, add back, goes full nuts here. No. Just normal Barrier Statue? No, he doesn't even normal the Barrier Statue. He just goes, big chicken. Puss. And I'm, like... What what's going on? Are you assuming you... that they're gonna normal summon so that you get to play? I don't know. I don't it know. just seems like I, I was like, you have to have access to two can with the route of play you've done. What are you, what are you doing? That's weird because as we have said before, the line for birds is like very very specific, but really good when you get there. But yeah. you have to take those lines, and if they have the interrupt, they have the interrupt. There's no try point trying to big brain them. Yeah, like <clears throat> yeah, Flundery is not the deck where you try something fancy. You the, try and yeah, like there is... fake them out by like. You're going down a road, and you this can go, and like, normally there's two streets, you just pick one. Yeah, I was just really confused. Like, That's he got weird. two, he's he on got bird two owed in so rapid fashion. In the, bird corner. Yeah, so he's yeah. on bird corner. He's standing yeah. here. There's these roads that lead out of bird corner, and, like, the big hype building here. And he's just he's turned trying around, to no, run into the door. He, he's turned around and, going, and just run Let me in! He's gone, no, I'm out. <laughs> it's 9pm at night. It's closed. Yeah, yeah, sorry. He's literally running into a glass door. He's being a bird. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure he played really well throughout the tournament. His list yeah, was really weird. <laughs> oh, His list was just like, I'm going to play uh, as consistent as possible. It. And I was like, that's sure. strange. All right. Like, he was playing like three enough. extra, three prosp, three duality. Three. Boy. I didn't seeing that. All right. He was playing yeah. like three of everything. He essentially wow. had cut like the space for three flex cards and was just like, three 
extra as well. I wish to see all of the cards, but then use them poorly. Yeah. <laughs> I was, yeah, in yeah. the end, I was just super confused by what he was doing, and I was like, I, I'm... Yeah. I'm a fan of extra in that deck, only because, like, sometimes it comes up, and you... It's fine. You just need two cards. Um, but, like, three, when you're playing the whole Pross line, is, like, a bit much. Um, is that deck list somewhere? We can It'd get it somewhere. somewhere. Cause yeah, the only because the only thing is like with Sword Soul and like the uh, uh, more of the winning side of list, unless one of us like Flanderies and stuff like this is probably the decks we know the best of. So it's the one we can give the feedback on the most. I know enough about Sword Soul, but I'm not going to know Sword Soul to the level this dude does. Like, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. There were like a couple of his, weird. His things list in is list. very like I'm Cut going to do my combo, yeah. and then tell you no. Yeah, fair. So like. Often. Rivalry mine is like because so. the amount of times now where that deck just doesn't make Baron because you've gone the whole like uh, you've started doing worm things yeah, yeah you've yeah, done yeah, your yeah. other stuff in your ten year engine first that the rivalry is just like well I I don't mind that way of playing either because the interaction between Chi Zhao and um, Big Boy whatever his name is Large Lad. Um, is quite good. Like, you banish to negate, and then because you've banished old mate triggers and start banishing some more shit. Yeah. Like, I like that interaction. And if you can do that also on top of a floodgate. Yeah. What you looking at? This. Uh, tributes a worm to search a tenye, and then banish while you control a non effect to yeah, search yeah, another yeah, tenye. Yeah. Cool. In the final, the. The potent. The. So it's player just openly plays an interviewer. And yeah, I'm just like, yeah, and I said this when we were talking about it in chat. If you don't open like literally long one to start your combo, yeah, you pretty much have to play into Nibiru. Yeah, like you have no choice because your Moyi token Chi Zhao and then long one summon after that's five. But can't the Chi Zhao Chi Zhao just negate? No, Chi Zhao negates on field. It targets. Oh, it does. It does. It does. I think it's way better than it is. Yeah, fair. that's why we add it. Yes. Yeah, so there's lit like if you don't open the right lines in um, Swords Hole, you literally can't prevent a Nibiru outside of like outside the gates, like cross yeah. out and stuff. So there's really not a lot you can do. Yeah. Um, how does he out the, his own mind, or does he just not? Um, it's a good question, actually. I don't so actually not. know. Yeah, just set over the top of it. Um, sure. Uh, he's got forbidden droplets in there as well, so droplet away and negate something. Yeah, oh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, there's options, cool. Because if, if he's played Mystic Mind, they've got monsters on the board, and then if you're chalicing, you negate the thing that's a problem and continue your combo. Yeah. So, yeah, and, um, yeah, a couple of things in the extra deck look a little weird, like he's playing Triple Monk, which is a bit odd, most lists play two, and uh, Triple Baxia. Okay. Again, a little bizarre. A bit much, but, all right. Yeah. To be fair, like... Granted, when I was playing that deck, I was playing, like, the most brain-dead way to play that deck. Like, I never used half that extra deck. There's a lot maybe, of Maybe you don't, and they're just, like, cool. Soul that you just don't use. Well, um, in when you were playing it, you were playing Protoss, and, like, pretty much, you would only ever really need to go Chi Zhao Baron Protoss, and yeah. that was pretty much yeah. the end of the game. Um, like, with the That's pretty much the, how I played on it. Comes up um, I'm, yes. I'm... Yeah. Ignore me. Okay. I'm, I'm saying stupid shit. I'm um, just looking at the standings for WCQ. That's all. Cool. Um, one of the highlight decks um, that people were a big fan of uh, was the Marincess that made it to top four. Yeah. Like, it was the one of one of the one of decks that was pretty much the highlight. What I um, thought was a highlight was when Mystic Bomb was activated and the entire crowd cheered. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So everyone cheered and clapped. Yeah. It was like this man had just, I don't know, one. The World Cup. Well, he won the West okay. because of it. Uh, no, I now have. Other guy. I, know, I, know, I, I, know. I now have a point to make. My point to make is, yeah, obviously with uh, the big, uh, the equivalent of Pokemon WCQ uh, in America was a huge amount of people. They end up playing like fourteen rounds, a lot of rounds. After standings, twenty uh, fifth to seventy eighth was twenty four points. I and understand some critical breakers. <laughs> bro, I understand not doing that many rounds, well, like and 20, wanting to keep your events not that long. 20, bro, twenty four points is eight three. Maybe. Let's yeah, say which, yes. Uh, which way you've made top thirty two going X three? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, most of yeah. those events, if you're like X two. 
That's it. You're like you're bubbling. That's bubbling. Mm. Imagine saying, "I bubbled YCS. Would you come seventieth? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off." Like, yeah, you went X. Yeah, it's like yeah, like I'm just looking at Logan's face. He's like, um, "Oh, you and me, baby. You and me, baby. <laughs> ABC, w- ABC YCS." Um, and then 24th to 15th was 25 points. So yeah, 25 guaranteed you. But um, yeah, to circle back to the Mystic Mind point, I am stop. all for this. No, no, I'm all for this because... If you celebrate Mystic Mind, make sure it's focused on. I was about yes. to say, it was, yes. such, it was such a I'm... long day, they all lost their minds. <laughs> no, I'll tell you why. Because I watched a highlight thing Wait. literally just before I came in here. And people had their copies of Mystic, like sitting, yeah, watching stream, head. holding them on their heads. <laughs> yeah. This was day one. Oi, yes. oi. I don't <laughs> overly love American players. That's jokes. Fair cop. I love that. They're all like. Yeah. That's um, a I, I'm not 100% sure whether it was on purpose or not, but one of them was holding it upside down. Yeah, he, no, <laughs> it, it was not on purpose because he looks at the camera and goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I but love yes, that. I um, love to circle that. back to my point, I want Mystic Mind in every top list between now and the ban list. Yeah. I want that card fucked off. Yeah. Do we play in Splite? Like it. Focus. Do we play in Splite? No, 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 no. no, why not? You don't care about their monster effects, negate them. Yeah, fair. <laughs> if they don't get to they don't get to play any monsters, they can't. It's yeah. okay, we can negate a grand total of two Mystic Mind activations. <laughs> fair. If they open three Mystic Mind, we lose. Oh wait, no, we can set it up with Toad. You can set it once. <laughs> yeah, we take it with the Toad. M- our mine. They, no, mine, mine. What? I My mine. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yes, I want Mystic Mine focused on. I want it banned. I want it to die. Um, do you reckon someone over the course of the next six months wins a YCS by toting away a Mystic Mine and then later on in that same match activating it? Please. Honestly, I, you. I hope so. I beg of you. Like, the card shouldn't exist. Fuck it. I hate it. Uh, moving on from that, we move on to some product news, um, of which we have a little bit. Uh, Legendary Duelist Season 3 has been announced. Uh, is going to be good this time? Is, probably not. Uh, this is from memory... Uh, oh, hang on. Did we go through this? Yeah, we've gone through this. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is old news. Oh, <laughs> <it was the laughs> Consuela uh, says old news! Final set finally hit the database. We didn't know oh. all, all the cards did. I think we did. We knew quite yeah. a few oh, of them. Oh, we knew it from the leagues. Yeah, yeah we, we kind of knew this already. Right. Disregard. Um, Disregard this news. We yes, already knew this it. news is not news because you Wait, knew it. Looking at my Brussels map for. I also have a Brussels map. That's yeah. funny. Uh, moving on to actual news. Uh, from the YCS, they did have an announcement of further cards from Darkwing Blast, um, as well as uh, Power of the Elements, but we'll get on to that in a minute. Um, basically, the last... The last cards of a set are usually the garbage ones that they don't really care about. Uh, we've got another... What the fuck are you doing, <laughs> I'm doing things while we're listening to bad product. Darkwing Moss pretty good product. Nah. I mean... It sounds the, too much like Blackwings, which means that's in doubt. Eh. Well, eh. it's got better stuff. Anyway, ah, why did, anyway. oh, I we, thought you were going to say it's got Blackwings stuff. Are we going to talk about the Fire Boys in this? The Fire Boys? And Fuego Boys. Oh, because they're not in this. D-Boys? No, but are we talking about that tonight? Because we didn't talk about uh, that last week. Fuego? Well, we can talk about it briefly. You don't want me reading effects and rekindling bio effects. No, no, not at all. Um, but anyway, um, so in the Darkwing Blast set, which is what I started on before you, you all talked your nonsense, we've got Darkwing another one is... of those spirit pendulum things. Do the bouncy thing, whatever. Um, we've got um, Puff and the Jester Bird, which is like spell and trap bounce. Hey yo, that the cool looking Flundery Scout. Yeah. What a game! But that's not Flundery Scout. No, yeah, because it's special summon. Damn. Um, whatever this thing is, a flip monster, no one cares. Um, More flippo. A dice roll card um, that's also an e telly target, which seems funny to me. Um, and some horsey thing. None of these are brilliant. I'm just quickly reading through them. Um, the oh, there's cool. one particularly interesting card, which is another um, how tuna target their quick synchros. Chop. Um, I feel like you've said that before. Fish? Recently. Um, yeah. Getting to the fish. No, this one isn't a fish. Not El Fisher. Fish. Um, but in reg- in regards to fish, uh, during the event they did do an ad for the upcoming Power of the Elements. So fishing. Um, and we have some news on that. Basically, uh, they have confirmed that the fifth Starlight card will be DPE. That's uh, pretty Because we needed it reprinted, so thank you very much for yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, thank you. 
Um, we've also got. So it's got... Bell. DPE. Bell... Wait, no, I'm thinking of the wrong set. We no, had that... Bell. Bell was the yeah, last Bell was the last set. set. So we don't know the uh... other starlights. Just DPE is the only one we know. The other four are unconfirmed. Oh, fair. So a uh, splite card. It'll it's probably a be card, a two element card, card, a two element card, a, a black wing card, and uh, yeah, Neo. Oh no, black wing's the next one. Uh, uh, Neo a card, Neos. like a, a fan card, and then and then um, one of the Albaz trash pieces of shit. Uh, it'll be um, zombie girl. Well, it could be actually Artemis is in the set. Artemis, the uh, Entis card. Oh, the spell. That yeah. would be sick, that actually. Could be a star it's been a while since they've done a Starlight spell. And that card actually... would be... That's, that's a star row? That's a thousand more star row. Yeah. That's but like awesome. triple tactics level Starlight. Ooh. That's so good. The card's really good. Ooh. Uh, so it is like target a extra deck monster type on the field. Yep. As cost. Also as cost. Uh, send the same type to your graveyard. And then bounce the one that you targeted. So... And your opponent can activate monster effects in response. Yes. Oh, I remember reading this. Yeah. Uh, yep. ooh. Card Master. Ooh. That, that just exists in two weeks in the game. So if you're playing Fusion, prepare to get non target. That's it. Prepare to get Entis. You can't respond to the monster effect. Oh, That's no. kind of wild. Uh, chamber and Red. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pop whatever you summon with the Entis. Protect with branded opening. Cool, thanks. I've just baited you in the gates. <laughs> yeah, it's one card. It's I've played a single card. You've one card shit. forces interaction. Thank you. I will now uh, special summon my level two. This is okay. But anyway, the important news is that uh, the exclusive card that we got announced a few weeks ago, Godi of the Deep Beyond, uh, is indeed part of an archetype. It is designed to be a uh, quick synchro fish deck. So there will so be right. more cards they announced. Say, this. I don't hear them say that specifically. They said a synchro fish deck. Yes, but they say quick. Yes, but they also hinted at the fact that if you summon it on your opponent's turn it will banish everything they have yes. so you would hope that if they've highlighted that fact they've given you, they've a, given way you a mechanic to do, to do yeah, so yeah, yeah. i think they're just expecting you to mix it with something else yeah probably. how can you when it needs specifically fishes right. there's spell trap cards exist. that say synchro fish immediately. yeah hmm? there's, syn- there's spell cards that say after this effect revolves synchro something immediately in the battle phase exactly yeah it'll be that kind of shit bro you know that Look, potentially not. It's like not. that Look, Link 5 that like they wanted you to fucking um, IP into. That does see play, to be we, fair. Um, we, we play that in Splite. Yeah, I know, but until now, they was like, just do it this way. And we were like, yeah, but we don't care. Even but to be fair, at the far start, everyone was like, No, you can't do that! No! No, 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 It says you're! <laughs> Is that your, um, no? No, not going to say names. Don't. No, yep. I know exactly where you're going. Don't no, do that. that's your arch uh, uh, arch enemy no, 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 impression. No, no, no. It, it did sounded, sound a lot like him. Lot it, like was, him. it was either that or his um, I like Link Summoning voice. Because <laughs> it did share some similarities. Yeah. I like Link Summoning! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, like, as much as you want to give shit to it because it's like a TCG archetype and they usually fuck these up, they have had their moments CBA. of brilliance. So this could be a moment of brilliance. This could be... A good deck. So, so let's wait and see what they do. Here's my theory: no. is that they have moments of brilliance is when they're simple and efficient. Put this three cards from the deck into the efficient. graveyard and summon a dude that travels fucking eight million times. I feel like they're gonna give them something. It's like during the main phase, after this effect revolves, synchro summon, and you will lose to a dark ruler. Yeah, maybe. It depends if it's a monster effect or a trap. This is valid. This is why I'm giving you shitty quick play spells. I mean, the TCG does have a thing of like, oh, we have an exclusive archetype. What does it need? Mm, Counter trap. So (laughs) it could just be negate this effect. And after this effect has been negated, synchro. That would be pretty cute. Yeah. (laughs) That'd be hilarious. And then they give... cannot activate cards or effects on response to this card. Well, yeah. Look, they've only shown the artworks of some of them and they showed them on the ad. Like, I've only got the one there. Um little jelly dude um so yeah we'll see how it goes uh they have confirmed that it's going to be two sets worth so they will get further support in darkwing blast um is this coming out in power Four or uh yeah the first oh lot comes out in yo, cody this shit is not gonna be good <laughs> are be. you telling me they're giving us two of the best archetypes we've seen in the last year and they're gonna make this good too oh i'm, Bin. I'm, so- I'm sorry did bin did you not buy duelist alliance 
In 2014, sure, Ben. Oh, sure, bro. Fucking ten years ago. What if they do this every eight years? Fair enough. Let's do it. You know what? Let's do it. Every eight years, give us three archetypes in a set. Who knows? They may have seen that Sprite and Tier Element were like really great designs, and they could have been inspired. Who knows? My thing was, if this was going to be really good, I assume they would put it in the next set to sell the set. Way more, because they've already sold this set. They've already got the second one. They've announced it's going to be in the second one. Okay. The gallery has contributed the fact that this also happened with Dragon Rulers and... 15 years ago Alright guys I'm not I'm not taking Tell that me, Every 5 to 8 years They do Every three really good 8 archetypes. to 10 years Sure Um could work, could Or work. This the, the first lot of them Will be fucking garbage And then the really good stuff Will come in um, uh, Thing I can see that But We all know that TCG archetypes Are just set up For the OCG to be like Can we break this With one card Yes or no CBA Yeah ben. And with that as well They've announced that Like um, B troopers will be In their uh, world, whatever yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm looking very forward to what they give B troopers. Hopefully, it's not a fucking fusion to justify that counter trap they gave them before. <laughs> they have a counter trap. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a negate. It is a negate specifically for monsters, which the deck had no problem with dealing with. That deck was a fine. You, deck uh, maybe you should give it to heroes. Pure. It could use a counter. <laughs> 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 that, that deck was a fine deck to play pure until they banned Imperial Order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once they once they stopped one avenue of response, you're like, oh, this deck bad now. Yeah. Um, moving on to some questions. Uh, so we'll start with our podcast. Well, this is less of a question, but anyway, uh, we have DJ Mara. Uh, the blue eyes uh, stuck in gold hits close to home, but thanks to today's sponsor CVG, I've managed to break the habit. Good. If you want to be good, don't play bad decks. That's it. If you're also if you're a new player, um, don't double crutch yourself. Crutch yourself by being a new player. And play a good deck, or be a good player and play a bad deck. Don't be both. <laughs> See you, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> good player, bad deck. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. That's probably true. Or bad player, good deck. Sometimes, yeah. Depends entirely on your perspective. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so moving on to our Discord for some further questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions such as oh, El Nino Jimenez. El Nino. Must El, be a, El must Nino. Must be a new member. Nino. Uh, how do you all feel about retro formats? Uh, I played back in the Edison day, so nice to see it has a following. I personally prefer Edison over today's competitive scene. Uh, Goat also has a strong community here in my locals. Uh, by the way, you all are my favourite podcast. Cheers from Texas. Big up Texas! Oh yeah, saw that you shit and then big up Texas. Um, <laughs> saw that you shit though. Come on. Um, no longer our favorite podcast. Uh, yeah, no, uh, we appreciate you. Also, the El Nino now makes sense. Uh, 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 so, goat sucks. So, oh, wait, whoa, fucking whoa. terrible. Huge so it's ball. open the one of spells the deck format, bro. Go play something else. So here's the problem. Edison seems cool though. Edison seems cool. Are you playing in a table? But here is the problem. Of Fair. uh, yeah. Here's the issue of you reading his questions beforehand. Is he gave a valid, long-winded response about this before we got on camera? Yeah, I did. Now that we're on camera, yeah. he's like, "I want to give the concise version." Yeah, he no. did not give his reasoning at all. Yeah, that's fair. I didn't. Um, well, that's okay because I do have my long-winded response, and I haven't been able to vocalize it. So the problem with retro formats is, firstly, they've been solved. There's no yeah, innovation yeah. to be made within those formats. It's all pretty much locked in. The decks are the same. There's no more originality to be had unless you want to play things worse. Um, the other thing is, too, it's the problem with anything nostalgic. It lives brilliantly for a little while, and then you realise, oh, this wasn't as good as what I thought it was. Especially if you're playing in the modern game. Like, yeah. you get to GOAT, and it's fine for the first couple of games. Logan, why are you even fucking here? No, 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 but okay. Anyway. I'll, but, I'll elaborate but, after that. But That's the, fine. It's fine for the first couple of games, but then, it, particularly if you're playing in current format, you're like, this is fucking slow. Why aren't I uh, dead that's yet? That's all right. Like, I, I don't mind that, and I understand the idea of, like, slow-paced game, a, a lot heavier on resource management, but as I said, in, in COVID, I must have played th two to three hours of GOAT every single day for almost like three months. And 
once both players have like the optimal list and both players play against each other like more than enough and you've kind of stopped making mistakes it does turn into open the power cards that game mode and it's kind of boring um like there's some things you can do to hold out after that but if your opponent like rips two cards sets perfectly like doesn't overcommit to the board you're just kind of like we'll go next game like i'll lose in 10 minutes and we'll move like it, it, at some point it gets to that and then you go it's fine for something to duck into every so yeah. often, like if a locals has like a format of go once every, say six months, you play one locals of it, and then it, like you do get that nice balance of oh, I get to play a slower paced game. It's a bit of a nostalgia trip, and it's fine. But then like when it's like something you're doing all the time, it's really not fun. I don't know about Edison though. I, I will say that I, I, Edison seems cool. I haven't touched it though. That's fast paced, but again, it's like. The format's already solved, and there's only like a couple of decks you can viably play. There's a, a couple in Edison. That like, there's prob- more, like, probably more than Goat, right? There's probably more than Oh, it's definitely more than Goat. Yeah. If you're playing anything but like Chaos, chaos or Control, or you just control. move on with your yeah. life. You're just the, asking the, to lose. The people that play Empty Jar can go fuck themselves. Yeah, that's <laughs> fair. Except for the third deck. I was like, where's the third deck in Goat? It's Gadget. Oh, no, in Goat? It's, in in Goat, Goat, there's plenty. There's plenty go, go here, and, watch County and Ghost, then there's two the here. YouTube series where we oh, talk about every viable <laughs> YouTube deck. I was, I was booing Jake, and then his second response, I was like, I agree with every point Jake just made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I yeah. Only yeah. Him up. But, but I will say, though, if you <laughs> like that, like, it is really enjoyable, and I had a really good time doing it. It was just to the point where it was too much. I did it too much, and then I kind of went, oh, we've both kind of stopped making mistakes. I would have to put so... Nah, I'm good. Um, but, as Jake said, it could be fun for, like... A little bit and then Edison it, also seems like fun so it's like, like any sort of cross format thing you do it's fun for a little bit but then you just sort of want to go back to your normal stuff there was a time in like 2017 when I would carry around like you know those like six row that you fit six deck boxes into that were just legacy decks just mm. to be like hey guys this is interesting come play this with me and people would just be like no nah, I'm good <laughs> uh, people do it in Pokemon too and it's like sometimes fun like, sometimes in Pokemon, you at least have that, like, expanded format that they have. Yeah, where but, it's like, like, the issue then becomes, to do that, people have to learn the decks, and you don't kind of want to sit down against somebody who doesn't know that deck and go, well, here's yeah. a deck, that's a cool concept, but they don't know how to play it. See, like, in, in that kind of Pokemon, I know, like, the really broken cards, and I'm like, I'm just gonna use this and... A, a bunch. I think that just works, does it? Okay, cool. Um, but, yeah. But, yeah, I one format that I really, really actually enjoy, and, like, I've played a, a few retro things... I'm gonna lightly say retro here. Just playing Zoom Mirrors. Yeah. Zoom Mirrors are actually fun. Better player wins normally. It's kind of cool. Like, it's a lot of resource management interaction. Like, you rarely get OTK'd. If you're both just playing straight up Zoo, and you're not playing, like, the Kaiju, Kaiju Zoo, Fusion Sub, you're not playing Fusion yeah. Sub Zoo, you're not playing Draco Zoo. If you're just playing, like, clean, pure Zoo lists that are, like, uh, my body is a shield to trade off on the dragons. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot yeah. of just like one for one trading and resource management, and it's actually really fun to play. Balance Yu Gi Oh! Fun Yu Gi Oh! <gasps> so, I don't know if this is a shocking admission. Um, I've never played Zoo. That's fine. I've played against it, but I've literally yeah, never yeah. played a Zoo deck. That's alright. It's fun. Hmm? What, what did you play, play in that format? Uh,. Invoked Kaiju Artifact. Yeah, Invoked existed. <laughs> Alistair got printed and Jake was like... Oh, sorry. Invoked Kaiju Artifact Win Witch. Dude, I can't play with Mermails. No, no, no. No, Jake no, no. wasn't uh, bad for that one. You played Mermails at the YCS I before. played Mermails in order to win Invoked and then Invoked until very recently. <laughs> <laughs> it's Man. Not, it's an oversimplification, but that's about it. <laughs> I've played Helmet Dex for a while, but I'm not copping shit after this. <laughs> Another retro format that I've always wanted to get into is like playing the whole uh, Dragon Ruler versus Spellbook. Spellbook? Yeah, like that kind fun of format. Setup. It's just something that I've always wanted to yeah. like mess around with. I own both decks, and I'm just like, it's yeah. a really fun format. But unfortunately, it's like a little bit of learning. You do kind of have to learn, yeah. otherwise, one deck. Just... I have probably long since forgotten yeah. how to play that. But knowledge, it's knowledge, a, knowledge, a knowledge. Format <laughs> I that I say, really I enjoy. Spell, I spell. Judgment. No, it's well, not something else. Uh, for a while, I just had Teledad built, and I was like, "That's sick." Someone yeah. played Teledad with me. Yeah, no. never. Uh, it it and like Jake said, it's cool to set up, and like you've got a bunch of people who are like, "Okay, let's build this format." We go, "Okay, cool, that's fine." Normally, you do it online, but like, 
I think that's yeah. half the thing of it as well is like particularly for newer thing. players, a they know nothing about the format, so that's like, and particularly if they're brand new to the game, it's not only learning about current format, you're learning about a format that has been and gone. But they don't and appreciate then... MST, Jake. <laughs> but the Look. other thing is too is actually sourcing the cards. Like nah, finding that a, is it? Sometimes oh, sorry. it's easy. Sometimes it's hard. yeah. Sometimes it's easy. When I wanted to build Duelist Alliance stuff, I was just on eBay like three bucks, three bucks, three bucks. Yeah, because three bucks, three bucks. That was so widely around. Yeah, that's yeah. what I love because I was like, okay, cool. If you want to get like Metamorphosis, it's still cancer. Why is it still cancer? Reprint it. The Syndicate owned a lot of copies. Some of them damaged. Yeah. Some of them fine. Um, Why don't you point to yourself when you said some of them fine? It's like you've hoarded the good ones for yourself and you're yes. only selling the shit ones. My pleasure. <laughs> um, something else that I it's always found funny was when I was had those legacy decks and I was carrying them around is I'd like... People would be like, yeah, I'll play against you, but I want to play my current deck. And I'd be like, okay, just letting you know this has big cards that are banned. So on. And they're like, that's fine. And then I'd normal summon Jagan and Jagan their board. They're like... This card's banned? No, this card's perfectly legal. No, no, sorry. No, this one's banned. <laughs> um, I so said him with Jalgen heaps. I don't know why. I pointed at Bragg. Um, I think I learned what Jalgen was through Bragg. I don't know. I just associate him with that card. Jalgen der Spiritualist, because mine were Germans. Jalgen der Fuck Your Board. Yeah. Anyway, any other questions? Uh, yes, we'll do one more question tonight. No. Um, this one comes from Six Scythe Six. Wait, do you think we can rapid fire every other question? How many Ru- questions are there? Rapid, rapid, rapid. There's a few. Let's go, rapid. Go, go, Let's go, 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 go. Okay, rapid, here we go, here we go. Okay. Welcome to the uh, rapid what's some, Okay, so from Raga, we have, what's something from another game that you think Yu-Gi-Oh could benefit from, benefit from and vice versa? A mulligan system. No, don't do that. 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 No, 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 Don't do that. If anything, other games, no mulligan. Reprinting better. Reprinting better. Yes. Yes. Good reprints. Price support. Printing original prints better. Yeah, printing original prints better, price support. Go. Full art cards. Full art cards. Uh, what else? Uh, we've got another question from Ragai. What would you rank... Uh, what? What would you rank Konami in its treatment of the TCG with respect to the OCG and other card game companies? Um, most OCG, companies... TCG. Do, most <laughs> companies don't have a separation between OCG and TCG. Uh, just do it all the same and do it all better. No, no, what, what? There's no like separation in formats. Pokemon does. Uh, no. Yes. They, no, but like, like it's like not a... The formats like, are the same, just that's, delayed. That's yeah. just because they don't have a ban list. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the the handle is the exact same. Like they the reprinting and the, the arts that they do are the exact same. The arts. The arts. <laughs> <laughs> I just give you the arts. The arts. The arts. <laughs> Next question. Uh my no, that's not a question. Uh last question is and this one we can take a little bit slower. Uh, when building a deck for play in real life, what rarity do you go for? Uh, max rarity, uh, whatever is around at the time, or minimum rarity and why? Does it depend on the card and how that particular card looks in any given rarity? Uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh! it's really, really hard because you don't know how long a format's going to last. If you, for example, right now, we know the ban list is in December, you probably could max out a, like, Despia if you really wanted to... But yeah, if you <laughs> really wanted to, um, <laughs> if you like really, really wanted to play the deck and you know you're going to have some time with it, I would, I like to play higher rarities because I think it's cool. Um, if I don't know how long, if a deck's really good, I'm just going to fucking min rarity it and just move on or get high rarity staples. High rarity staples is always a safe bet. Yeah. So high rarity staples and legacy cards. Yes. Typically you just kind of get stuck with whatever's available for yeah. like whatever you're currently building. Say if you're building a deck that's been out a few years and it's not, it's perfectly clear from the main list. Say you're building your heroes. Do you build max rarity heroes? Do you build low rarity heroes? Or do you, do you just grab them in the whatever bin? you can find from people's <laughs> For Mix. stuff like that, I will build low rarity unless I am like genuinely interested in the deck and love the deck but by that point i already own the deck yeah yeah i i already own pretty much everything yeah my so. rule of thumb when building decks is um particularly if you're wanting to play something right that minute is go for the rarity that's available and then if you wish to build up from there Literally, trade up at the start of this podcast you were like I couldn't get the $30 secret rare, so I bought the $110 yeah. Starlight rare. I bought the one that was available. That's what I said. Yeah, get so what you, you can get your you hands on. You I could get my hands on the Starlight have. and not the fucking $20 yeah. fucking secret. And like, if your friends have cards, side note, do your friends better deals. Just side note. Um, if your friends have cards, normally uh, you just get what they have. Like, it's so much easier to just be like, 
please, can I acquire this for my deck that I want to play? And 99% of the time, people are like, yeah, I love it. I'm like, yeah, sure, man. It's fine. Um, it's just availability. Yeah, but don't steal people's shit either. Like, if you're buying oh, yeah, someone's yeah, yeah. shit, like, give it back. Yeah, like, you know. Um, mixed. 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 Yeah, it's always mixed. Yeah, mixed Bragg's rarity. loves Fire. mixed rarity. Chiefly because I think he knows it pisses me off. Uh, yeah! <laughs> my, my Max C line for ages was like gold ultra secret or oh, some stupid beautiful. shit. I was like... Uh, <laughs> and then when it went... No, when I played it at two, I did uh, high, secret and gold because I wanted highest and lowest. Yeah. Hmm. I, fuck you. I didn't own ulti. I ain't made of money. My name ain't Brig. That last one I guess for Max C was two, two ulties, one super. <laughs> at that point just say you're playing two <laughs> just play two brag just play two brother it's then he could good. have been in your deck list on the profile oh, well. you want to see it sometimes but not all of that sometimes but not all of the time sometimes maybe so, good sometimes maybe she um but that does conclude us for tonight thank you very much for listening and watching um yeah feel free to jump into our discord like i said earlier ask us some questions for next week um we look forward to seeing you then bird corner Woo!